This is the Onion News Network, controlling what you see and when you see it. It's called toping, short for isotoping, illegally enriching uranium. A new report says one in five teens is doing it, and that has many parents worried. The sleepy town of Woodview, New Jersey, was rocked last week when six teens were arrested for conspiring to sell enriched uranium to foreign nationals for the purpose of making a nuclear weapon. Guys come in saying, oh, I made 24 kilograms of uranium, oh, I made 82 kilograms of uranium, and it's like a big competition. The school was tipped off when football coach Ron Shipley saw some paraphernalia in the locker room. I mean, at first, I, I thought maybe he was just, you know, separating some U-238 isotopes to develop a nuclear energy program or something, but you can't be too careful nowadays, you know? Were you shocked when you found out? Well, you know, you never think it's your kid who's going to go sell enriched uranium to a rogue nation. When Tim Drucker's parents searched his bedroom, they found a tunnel to a 74-acre underground centrifuge in the backyard. We didn't want to be the kind of parents who went snooping in his room, reading his communiques with arms dealers, anything like that. And then there's the Facebook factor. Many students have gotten in trouble when photos of so-called toping parties have wound up online. What's causing the rise in teen toping? Some blame the glorified portrayal of nuclear weaponization on TV. Others say that the rise of so-called nuke rap glamorizes nuclear enrichment. Toping, uh, uh, and freaking, uh, uh. Toping all night like I'm up. This is not every third world Arab nation want to get with this. No matter the cause, the debate about toping continues. Is it as dangerous as some contend? Or is it just a case of kids being kids? For Beyond the Facts, I'm Jean Ann Wharton.